Now, earlier in our newscast, we brought you up to date on the situation in Crosby and the chemical plant fire that sent 15 Harris County deputies to the hospital. Channel 2 investigates uh, spent the day digging into the Arkema plant safety record. Joel Eisenbaum is live now in Crosby to reveal what he found. Joel? Dominique, to put it plainly, this plant has given a lot of people a lot of problems over the last few days. So we wanted to take a closer look at their last federal on-site inspection, and it does reveal a few issues. My God, man, you know, we have our livelihoods sitting out there. Our cars are sitting there. We have animals there. Don't we deserve a little more consideration? Beyond the anger, a certain degree of disconcerting certainty. It is no longer a question of if, but apparently when the rest of the unstable material at this Crosby chemical plant will degrade, catch fire, and possibly explode. And we believe at this point that the, the safest thing to do is to allow the other eight containers uh, product in those to degrade and burn. One load caught fire early Wednesday. The thick, acrid smoke sent more than 15 deputies to the hospital. They've since been released. Arkema company officials and the Harris County Fire Marshal's Office have told us that exposure to smoke from these organic peroxides is similar to standing over a burning campfire. And we believe the smoke is a non-toxic irritant. But Channel 2 Investigates has discovered a history of violations at the facility. An OSHA inspection last summer alleged 10 serious infractions, and Arkema paid a $91,000 and change fine. Among the violations, inaccurate piping diagrams, inadequate training, insufficient equipment inspection, insufficient equipment testing, and failure to maintain equipment safety systems. Those specific hazardous conditions were fixed according to OSHA. But an expert in the field says as soon as the emergency is over, another government investigation begins. Were there steps that the company should have taken to prevent the incident from occurring at all? The other focus is going to be on how did the company and how did the government handle the response to the incident? One of the many hundreds of evacuated residents has already rendered his verdict after living next to the plant for decades. One time there they sent out a letter wanting to be a good neighbor and I thought Good neighbors don't try to burn up and blow up other people. I think that man's being a little tongue-in-cheek there, but he may be representing the feelings of at least some of the 300 families that have been displaced by all of this. It is important to note that at this point, that Arkema plant is in compliance with both EPA and OSHA regulations, according to their websites. We're live in Crosby tonight. I'm Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC, Channel 2 News.